What's up, guys? And of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your thrill of gores, the Scarender. And today we're going up against Thomas the Derisal Man. And yes, we got up against this guy way too many times before, and uh, for good reason. He's actually quite good, and he brings a lot of weird stuff, which means that they tend to be a lot of interesting matches because of that. Uh, anyway, looking at his team here, he got Bayem, Archeops, Dust Club, Steelix, Lilligant, and Raichu. Um, Lilligant, and it, I am not too custom with that. I know it has issues. It has a way better special attack than it should have, and got access to Quiver Dance, but the move pool is quite lacking. Uh, Raichu is a terrible Pokemon to go up against because it has actually quite a wide variety and hit quite hard. Uh, so I'm fearing that one. And Steelix and Dust Gloves is definitely have a very big safe core. Archeops can kinda screw my team over in worst case scenario. And Bayem, you know, that's probably the only one I'm neutral about because I used one of my own and it's, it's kinda lacklustering. It feels a lot better than it really is, sadly. And you look at my team, I'm using Aurora's again, Grotal with his le lesser evolution of Torterra, Steelix myself, Wigglytuff, and then this choice of Bandage, uh, Typlosion, and Kedebra. And really, I have the same strategy here. I'm expecting him to bring the Archeops in and get go, and uh, either set up rocks or just hurt a lot. And um, so I'm just, like I said, I'm going to bring Aurora's because it dies every battle anyway, so I might as well just, just lead with that, see if it kills anything, and then, you know, if not, then, uh, you know, that's life. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I actually have no game idea here. I just went uh, fires guns blazing here and was hoping for the best, really, because this is definitely a good team that he's going. Or so with that in mind, let's go. So he's gonna start with Raichu, and I'm saying going for Earth Power. You know, I'm not caring. I'm basically I know I have maybe safer bet can take a Focus Blast, but I was really hoping for him missing. So buy ours. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Awesome lead. I'm, I'm loving you already. So, obviously, kind of losing momentum here. And I'm just going to play as aggressive as I need to. That is going for Steelix. I'm just going to go for an earthquake. I really, really, at this point, was like, why didn't I switch out? I have Pokemon that can actually take that kind of damage, but I didn't do it because I was really, really hoping that he wouldn't do that play. So, obviously, Dust Club is coming here, and um, I do expect him to we'll go for a Will O Wisp. So I'm just gonna bring uh, my type lotion to kind of soak that. In worst case scenario, it could be both set having toxic too, but I really didn't think it would make that prediction. So Calvin is coming in, and there is the Will O Wisp. Little head. But anyway, I do obviously not take that, and I'm just gonna go for a flare blitz. And he actually expecting, like most people do, that an eruption is coming in. So he went for a special defensive wall, and boom! It's not dying, but hell, it's close, and uh, there is no reason for him trying to save this one, he's just gonna fodder it. I would have done the same, not even joking about that, it's... It is the best move, it really is. So, uh, at least now we're 5 for 5, so that's good, I mean, Aurora's obviously is... Um, very lacklustering as a Pokemon. So anyway, Omega Demon is coming in here, and I did expect coming for either Nightshade or Shadow Ball. So I'm just gonna go to my Wigglytuff and just... Getting that immunity going and see what it's all about. I do expect him to go for a Will O Wisp again, but really, I just want some damage out there. I know he's not gonna go for um, a move like uh, um, like Pain Split or anything like that due to him having actually quite a good HP. Uh, I actually went for Flamethrower, right? Because I did expect him to switch into his Steelix. So, anyway, he go for the Will O Wisp, you know, that's fine, it really is. And now I expect him to go for Pain Split because he has a 50%-ish HP and my Wigglytuff is just a big pile of HP, obviously. It's a Soul Fested though, so it can kind of work around a lot of things, hopefully. But he actually goes for Infestation, which is really fine. It's... I mean, obviously I'm locked in, but um, at the same time, I really couldn't have done another Pokémon. And had I been locked in with Wigglytuff here, that would be just a feast of HP lost, obviously. So I'm just gonna flare blitz, hoping to take it out, but no, it's not even close. And Nightshade in conjunction with the Infestation will be more than enough and gonna take Calvin down. But you know, he did some fair damage here, you know, taking out the BM and bringing down Dust Club to a um, very, very nice range of HP. So you know, I am fine with this ish. 
<laughs> so anyway, I'm just gonna go to Chris Snack, my Kadabra, and forcing him out, basically. I really hoping for him, obviously, to fodder this thing off, because there is no reason for him to actually utilize it. And I really felt that Energy Ball is my best neutral hit, if he so decides to stay in, obviously. So that is a dust by the way, a huge threat to my team due to the bulk. But Lilligant is coming in, and Lilligant can kinda set up against me, and I know that, so I'm gonna force switch myself out. Because, well for one, and uh, obvious, obviously this one the main issue, is that I don't really wanna break my uh, focus sash. Plus I know it's very likely that he will go for a sleep powder or anything like that, so having Wiggle Tap in, which is burn, was my best bet really. So um, I went for a flamethrower rear, hoping to do some fair damage even after a quiver dance. I do like one fur, but I'm lucky and get the burn. So now I know he'll go for Giga Drain or something like that, so I decide to switch out to my Grotal, my Lesser Evolution of Torterra, which is an Evolite set. Uh, never used it before, but it, but I really wanted to try it out. Uh, it doesn't get to shine too much this battle besides setting up Stealth Rock, sadly, but uh, it definitely takes a punch. It really does. Uh, this one is offensively built, so taking that quite well, actually. Evolite is such a fantastic item to this type of evolution. Of course, being a monograss type might be working in its favor if you're counting, you know, the terrible type when it is ground to, <laughs> to grass, which obviously isn't working at all. So it's gonna go to his Archeops here, and I was really thinking that it felt very likely that he would go on for a flying move, but he'll actually go for a taunt, which is, um, yeah, I should have attacked him. I should have tried to whittle this thing down. And I didn't, <laughs> but obviously Steelix is rolling this Pokemon completely, and uh, I am just gonna go for damage. That's really my only bet. And he's gonna go to Raichu, which is great, because I should have gone for an EQ. I was really thinking about that, that he was not gonna stay in. Obviously, you know, an Iron Head does a fair amount of damage here, but I am not sure that any of my Pokemon can take a Focus Blast. And the Grotal felt, you know, to be them Pokemon that... Uh, I have no for real use of it, and of course it's the Focus Blast, you know, that's just a given. Um, it kinda sucks, it really does, but it has Hidden Power Ice too, so definitely that combination is more than enough to take me out, obviously. And Raichu is proving yet again that there is nothing stopping this Pokemon, I hate this Pokemon so much. The boost in speed really made a difference for this Pokemon, it really did, and obviously with the Life Orb I won't be able to attack it before it kills itself. So I'm just gonna go into Wigglytuff because Wigglytuff has no real usage this battle anymore uh, and I felt that that was probably my easiest way of leading into it. So um, I'm pretty much second of Wigglytuff here. He's gonna bring the Lilligant yet again and um, there is really nothing I can do against it. I need my Kadabra to kinda bring it down even further and I knew that so um, I'm just gonna stay in and then bring in the Kadabra and then hope that my Kadabra can Fend off his Steelix properly because he has a Steelix way back that is I do expect is his Mega Steelix and uh, just see if I can work around it because I only got Kadabra and my own Steelix left and if I really need my Steelix for the um, for the Archeops and um, I really need to have Steelix and his Mega Steelix and amount of HP where I can cope with it so that means I need to bring it below half HP with my Kadabra to be able to do that, and I am actually free to do so because of my Sash. So uh, I'm just gonna try to go for two energy balls, bring it down to range where my Steelix can kill it. So here it comes the Mega Evolution, you no, know, the mighty, the most glorious, the worst Mega. In my opinion, Mega Steelix is in, and um, he's gonna put a nail in the coffin here because even though Energy Ball does amount of HP that I did expect would do, he has the Dragon Tail, which means crap. <laughs> because that means that my Steelix is gonna come in and even with Life Orb and whatnot, I know an Earthquake won't take it out due to Mega Steelix being so extremely bulky and of course because he's Mega Evolved he's now faster than me and um, yeah basically guys this is GG Dragon Tail was actually the right play because even though it is extremely close it is not close enough and it really really sucks because I know an Archeops wouldn't have been able to take my Steelix out from that amount of HP and that just, ugh. And of course Kadabra is being, what is that, I think it's 15 base slower than an Archeops if it is Jolly, which obviously it is. Just to really really <laughs> it's 
spoil the ending here. But there was really nothing I could do here, and um, I won't say that my Roarers played in the beginning did matter because there is still Man or Thomas really played good, and I just did everything in my power to try to work around it. But evidently, I did fail, and uh, yeah, it really, really sucks. I should have played a bit differently here, but I really went, like I said, go just guns blazing, hoping to overpower my opponent. But he had the same strategy and had a better matchup in the beginning, and uh, it kind of held on throughout this battle, sadly. But it was a fun game, it really was, and um, I really thought I learned a lot from this battle, that I might not play that aggressive next time I go into a Wi-Fi battle. So, yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed this battle anyway, it was definitely, like I said, it was quite a close one, it's still a 1-0 actually, and it felt like my previous battle that even though it turns really close, it definitely didn't feel like it. I definitely felt under underpowered throughout this battle, and uh, it just it never really let off. And I didn't play do any plays that could kind of turn things around because every play that I could have done felt risky. And obviously, he, my opponent playing it safe, was really the right move. And you know, I have only myself to blame to not even trying to turn this thing around. Obviously, and Thomas played a really, really good game. You know, I can't really stress that enough. And uh, he won fairly. Definitely did. So, of course guys, and as always, thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like if you like this battle, and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, that's guys, limit of course, and yeah, have a good day guys, and take care, alright? Bye.